Hello everyone and welcome to Black Star Potential. My name is Lee Fuge and I'm here today with MusicTeacher.com. In this video we're going to be talking about how you can get the most out of the built-in flanger effect from your Black Star Amped 2. So all the tones in this video are coming directly from the Amped 2 that is on the desk in front of me. I'm running out of the XLR output straight into my audio interface, so I'm running cab rig for my cab and room simulations here. The only thing on the Amp 2 that I have switched on all the time is my reverb, which I've got on a room setting, and the controls are set, as you can see there, with the time at about 10 o'clock and the level at midnight. So we're going to be talking about the flanger for this. So for the flanger, we need to come to the modulation toggle switch and put it into the up position, which is chorus and flanger together. Now, this is a split control, so we have chorus and flanger in the same setting. This is chosen with the depth control. So with the depth control at midnight, we have chorus into flanger. So the lowest flanger setting is gonna be here at midnight, right through to the maximum once here. Anything below that point is gonna be chorus. There's another video on the channel where you can check out how to get the most out of your chorus effect. That's gonna be linked in the top corner and down below. But today we're gonna to be focusing on the upper range of this control, which is the flanger. So flanger is an effect that is part of the modulation family. Flanger works by taking your signal and whatever you feed in and splitting it into two. On the second version of this, it runs it through an LFO, which you can control the speed of with the time knob. We can have a fast or a slow flanger or anything in between. And what that does is it creates an oscillation effect, which gives you that crazy sound that flanger is known for. This is way more extreme than something like a chorus effect, but we can use flanger in some more subtle ways as well, which we'll talk about in this video. The first way we're gonna talk about is using flanger with a overdriven rock tone. This is a very similar approach to how Eddie Van Halen would have used flanger, so we're gonna be using the time quite slow, so I've got that set on about two on the screen here. The depth control I'm gonna to set to three, and I'm also gonna set the level to three as well like so. So the overdriven rock sound I'm gonna be using is this. So with an overdriven rock tone like that, when I turn the flanger on, I'm gonna get some movement to those lower notes. This is the LFO at work. So what happens there is because I've got the time quite slow, the LFO is slowly modulating that second signal. So we get this little sweeping sound that goes on behind the existing guitar signal. This is very similar to how Eddie Van Halen would have used this effect in the late 70s and early 80s. <laughs> So now I'm gonna show you how to add some shimmer and movement to your clean sounds with flanger. So the time is once again gonna be quite slow, we don't want it too fast here. The depth I'm gonna to set to one because we don't want really extreme movements. But the level I am gonna crank up because I do want you to hear the flanging effect. So my clean tone without flanger is this. <laughs> So with the flanger in those lower settings, we're now going to get a nice shimmer to that tone. Using flanger in this way is a great way to just give your clean tone a slightly different flavor. Chorus works great, but a lot of players think that chorus is a very dated sound because it was heavily used in the 80s and 90s. Using a subtle flanger like this is a different character to your clean tone, and it's a great way just to change up 
how your clean tone sounds. You can also use a subtle flanger effect with lead tones. So I'm gonna leave the time and the depth in the same place, but I'm gonna bring the level down a little bit. I'm gonna put that on six because I don't want that to be overbearing. So if I play an overdriven lead without the flanger, it's gonna sound like this. Using a subtle flanger just adds some character to it. This is a great way to make your lead lines pop through the mix in a solo. With some subtle flanger, it sounds like this. Flanger can be a great coloration effect to add to your tone when used subtly. You can also use flanger in some quite extreme ways. So if we turn the depth and the level all the way up, now you're gonna hear how a really extreme flanger sounds. That sort of sound is very typical of how we think of a really extreme flanger from the 1970s. It's almost a really intense oscillation of the LFO there because the depth is up full. If we turn the time control up, that gets even wilder. <laughs> So flanger is a great effect to use in your guitar playing. It's not the sort of thing you would leave on all the time, but it's a great way just to add a bit of punch or attitude to certain passages. But it's also great as a shimmering modulated tone for some really interesting clean sounds. Let me know down below in the comments what your favorite songs or riffs that use flanger are. If you've enjoyed this video, don't forget to hit the subscribe button on the Black Star Amplification YouTube channel. There's a bunch more videos just like this one. And if you're looking for a music teacher in your local area, please check out musicteacher.com. Check out the network of great guitar teachers all around the UK waiting to help you guys out. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you soon.